Hi, welcome to another episode of Figuring Your Ford, brought to you by Lacombe Ford, home of Tires for Life. My name is Kelsey Billick, and on today's episode, I'm going to talk about how to properly inflate your tires for cold weather driving conditions. If you've been driving anywhere near Alberta lately, you know that winter has officially set in, and we hope you have your winter tires. There's a couple reasons why. First of all, if you take a look at the tread of a winter tire, there's all these little tiny lines running through. Those are called sipes, and what they do is they remove excess water from inside the tire so you have better traction. Also, the compound itself is softer, so it can handle those dropping temperatures better. If you don't have your winter set of tires, come down to Lacombe Ford, we'll get you a great deal. Now, say you do have your winter tires. Now you want to know how to properly inflate them when the temperatures start to drop. So, you're going to look at the side wall of your tire, and in itty bitty writing, on this for example, it's right here, it's going to explain what the maximum pressure is. This is something you need to definitely note, and in this case, it's 44 pounds. To find the recommended tire pressure that you need on your vehicle, you're going to want to go to the vehicle, open the door, and you'll find a sticker similar to this on the inside panel. And as you can see here, this car runs on 32 PSI. So now you know the recommended tire pressure for driving in 21 degrees Celsius or hotter temperatures. That was found on your door. You also know the maximum amount of air pressure you can put in your tire. That was the number on the wall of your actual tire. You need to measure how much air pressure you have. You're going to need a tire pressure gauge. Really simple to use. Come down to the tire, just take the cap off, push the end in, and you'll see that you've got a measurement for how many KPA or PSI you'll have on your tire at that time. So now that we have a starting point, you have your numbers, here's the tricky part. As the temperature begins to get colder, you need to add more air to your tires. So for example, if the recommended tire pressure is 32 pounds, like found on your door, then in minus 20 weather, it's actually recommended to add seven more pounds, bringing it to 39 pounds in your tire. We're going to put a table up on our lacombe4.com website that's going to show you all the different fluctuations and so you can measure properly how to fill up your tire. So I just have one more point for you. If you don't like trying to figure out the different air pressures for the different temperatures, there is another alternative. You can put nitrogen in your tires. Nitrogen is not affected by the winter weather. It also can maintain the same pressure throughout the tire, which means you get less wear and tear and a longer life and you get a funky little green cap, just like that sucker right there. So that's been another episode of Figuring Your Ford, brought to you by Lacombe Ford, home of tires for life. My name is Kelsey, and if we can help you with any tires or vehicle needs, please give us a call, comment, email us, we'd be happy to help you. Thanks for watching, have a good day.